want to engage youth, inform them about water resources, get them involved in the process, then develop a yearly PSA contest where you put the creativity in their hands. Here's how the Unified Government of Wyandotte County and Kansas City, Kansas is doing it. First, develop a topic. For our project, the topic was protect our waterways. Second, define who can participate, what ages, grades, schools, classes, areas, etc. We engaged two groups, middle school and high school students in Wyandotte County. For the first year, keep it small, targeting a few schools. This will keep it more manageable, allow you to work out any kinks, build materials, and plan your growth for the following year. Third, create an entry form with the rules and parameters of the contest, including what media format you want the entries to be in, such as video, poster, or website. What is the size or the length, time of the entry? Due date of the entries, and where do they need to be delivered? Who is submitting team and or individual entries? What are the criteria on which the entries will be judged? How are the winners going to be recognized and awarded? Review this every year in order to see what else can be added to enhance the contest. Fourth, promote your contest. Engage the teachers and educators as they are key to a successful contest. Be aware of curriculum standards for your schools and how you can help the educators meet them. If you make it easy for the educators and get them involved, they will help you reach and encourage the students to participate. Create a poster for the teachers to put up in their classrooms. Create web posts for the schools to use in their classes and on their social media sites. Create an FAQ sheet about your topic for the educators to use in class with additional information links for students to use in researching the topic for their entry. Have some of your local experts get out and talk to the classes about the topic and encourage the students to participate. Fifth, judge and award. Assemble your panel of judges. Include both expert and novice to your subject. Inform them of the rules and have them score the entries. After the first round of judging, take your top 10 scores in each category and have your judges rank and re-score them to create the top places. Inform the teachers and students that they have won an award and make a big deal of it. In our contest, individual certificates were created for each of the top three award winners in each of the categories and age groups. We presented our winners before the broadcasted monthly local government commission meeting and at the participating schools. Winners and their entries were placed on the local government website, in the newsletter, and on UGTV. Sixth, have fun. Enjoy the students and embrace the process. Keep it authentic and document as much as you can with photos and video to use the next year to engage even more students. Finally, review what went well, what went great, and what you'd like to do better next year to engage more youth to be a part of the solution. I don't know what this stuff is, but down it goes. No, don't do that! Why? Because there are three rules to what goes down the toilet. What are these three rules? Number one, Number one can go down the toilet. Number two, number two can go down the toilet. Hold on, and number hold on, three, hold on. nothing else can go down the toilet. You know, Give me that. And champions of water resources.